Hey lightweights, so like clockwork, as always, the neighbor's lawn is being mowed as soon as I hit record. So I apologize if you can hear that obnoxiously in the background, but this is the only time I have to record, so we're gonna power through it. Um, anyways, welcome back to some more Life is Strange. Last video, we finished episode one. Uh, we met, oh God, I'm gonna blank on all the freaking names now. Chloe, we met Chloe um, and Obviously, we knew from the first part of episode one that they were old-time friends that kind of fell out of touch, um, and it seems naturally Chloe is a little resentful of that and has had a difficult life since we've been gone. Um, we also found out that the missing girl, Rachel, maybe? Rachel, um, I'm going with Rachel, is, was, is, it, depending on if she's alive or not, or I don't really know what's happening with her, but um, they were very close friends, what I'm assuming is a couple. Um, I don't think they ever really came out and said that, but so I might be totally off. But it seems like they were more than friends. Um, and then at the very end, we panned over a scene of someone who had VHS tapes with names on them, and one of those names was Rachel. Uh, I was assuming that had to do with Chloe's stepdad, who is the security guard at the school. Um, but obviously we don't really know that. All I know is Chloe said he's obsessed with recording things. He wants to put security cameras up in the school. Um, so yeah, there's kind of a lot going on, a lot of things we still need to figure out. I'm really excited to dive back into it. Um, so I don't really think I have anything else to say. I talked about, compared my scores to other gamers, um, and I pretty much was the same as most people for choices. I just missed a couple things that I could do. Um, a lot of you told me in the comments that, side note, I am not reading uh, because I have been warned mul by multiple people that there are spoilers in the comment section. Um, so Mr. Light has been going through comments and passing along any tips you guys give me, um, but I will not be reading comments for this series. Because even though he's going through and deleting spoilers, I just don't want to risk it. It's not worth it, um, so I'm just not going to do it. So keep leaving your comments because the information is getting to me, uh, but I'm not reading them myself. Myself? Myself. <laughs> Anyways, um, back to what I was saying. He told me that a couple of you told me not to be afraid to stay in a spot and explore everything. You guys told me to interact with absolutely everything. If I don't like an outcome, I can always rewind and I don't have to worry about it. Um, an example of that being in the very first episode I did um, when I was exploring the dorm room, I was afraid to stay in there too long because I didn't want to get caught. So I don't really need to worry about that sort of thing because I can always rewind if that's an issue. Um, I think I got better at that last video, but I will definitely, definitely, definitely make sure to focus on that for this as well um, because I know that there were some things that I was just kind of afraid to do because I didn't want to mess something up. So I'm going to interact with everything I can possibly find. I'm sure I'm still gonna miss things. It's my first playthrough after all, but um, thank you for the tip for that. And I will make sure to put more of an emphasis on that. Um, if you are new here, please make sure you subscribe to the channel or if you're returning but haven't yet, make sure you subscribe to the channel. Hit that bell button when you do so that you know when I post my next video. All right, you guys, here we go. That statement stresses me out. Choose wisely. <laughs> Sneeze.
How can you sleep with that much light in your room? <laughs> I'd hardly be awake. It needs to be a bat cave when I sleep. Being a superhero is dirty work. I need to shower. <laughs> Whoa, hello zombie face. This is what happens when you research quantum physics all night. That was really fast. Can I read that again? <laughs> Squirrel. <laughs> okay. You there, hippie? What about that fucking snow? What about your new power? Or have you gone back in time and figured that out? Figured it out. I can't go back that far, smartass. Too bad you can't go back and warn me about that joint. I thought saving your life was more important. Boom. Max delivers the final blow. But for reals, we need to talk. I need you standing with me on this. Or eat an ass buster breakfast at two whales, my treat. <laughs> Sold. It's good to have minions. Got a bail master. Breakfast is a go. You there, Mad Max? Like I said, always for you. No emoji. Frowny face. Meet me at the diner in 40. I'll be there. Do not be late or I'll know. Time is not on your side. After all, you did let step dork bust me. On my way, you are evil. 40 minutes or else. Even with all this crazy shit going on, it is so cool having Chloe back in my life again. Mrs. Hoida is still out sick. I heard somebody say she has severe depression. Poor thing. They don't have a sub? They just cancel class when your teacher is sick? That's nice. Everywhere I watch again. That watch looked like tiny. Would Man Ray call them selfie portraits? That's cool, it matched the song that we're listening to. That's awesome. Divide. Now I have to wonder if any of these films are based on a true story. What are you? Drink up. It's got electrolytes. Is that good for plants? What? Why? <laughs> Is the consequence that it won't die? I admit, this is hilarious, but I shouldn't sink to Victoria's bully level. No, we're not gonna post it. We're just gonna admire it. That's all. No smiling. Take your power seriously. keep my eyes open but I know there's a scientific answer dang that's a lot of research okay what if I'm one of Hawking's fabled time tourists even though he once made fun of time travel now he believes it's possibility or he's still fucking with us he's a genius imp time is like a river Einstein bullshit I'm drowning in time my head hurts after a long rewind after long rewind and thinking about this now Take a giant step backward for mankind. <laughs> Schrodinger's cat could exist in two different time zones. Hello, time kitty. Quantum entanglement. Energy disperses as particles reach equal distribution. This means that time has a fragile foundation. Nothing is written in stone. The law of thermodynamics can obviously be broken, so no rules, only guidelines. Burn your clock. Time is like an arrow. Newton. Or is time like two arrows at the same velocity, hitting two targets independent of each other, leading to two different results? 
What the hell am I writing? Rewind only limited by time itself. Right now, I only have enough time to go back a certain amount of time. Irony or evolution? Maybe I have to do time exercises? How? It makes sense if it was like a muscle. And you kind of had to work it. I could rewind for days and read all of these books. Will I really find any insight into my power? Listen, she watches Doctor Who. She should know time is wibbly wobbly timey whiny stuff. That's the only tourist picture I let them take of me at the Space Needle. That was a good hockey game and a great fight. Man, Kristen and Fernando were so drunk hanging on the Fremont Troll. Mm. Warren is blowing up my inbox now. As long as he helps me figure this out. Doctor Who. Okay, hey Max, the doctor is in the house. I've been thinking long and hard about your weird request. I just sent you a bunch of physics and science links, and without further ado, here's a few time travel films you must see. I'll send more as soon... I'll send more as they come to mind. The doctor expects a full explanation for your newfound chrono interest. The Time Machine, the 1960 version. Fun early steampunk sci-fi, and Morlocks faces melt. Primer, lo-fi time travelers in Dallas. Brilliant. I'll explain it to you after you watch it. Time after time, H.G. Wells uses his time machine to chase Jack the Ripper to modern-day San Francisco. Super cool and clever. Pulp Fiction. Serious. The switching between timelines gives a good basic outline of relativ relativity, plus Uma. Somewhere in time, big cult, big cult around this romantic sci-fi written by Richard Matheson. The, kind, the best kind of chick flick. Sorry, the text is really fond from where I'm sitting, so I'm like, you'll cry like a baby. I did. Time slip. You can borrow my copy of this awesome Japanese flick, or we can watch it together. Date night! Um, Sunny Chiba, is that how you say that? And his soldiers end up back in samurai days. Basically tanks versus ninjas. Time cop. Jean-Claude Van Damme does the splits on a kitchen counter in his underwear. Need I say more? That's all the time I have now, as I do have actual quantum physics to plow through, and not your fun Back to the Future homework that I never get. Now that you've discovered the art of science, I expect to see you in the lab more as well. I could always use a new partner in time. Get it? Don't hit, I'm leaving. Doctor Who? This is so insane, it sounds logical to me. Join the Chrononauts. Time travel is not just a science fiction. History has recorded numerous cases of individuals who have managed to bend all rules of the space-time continuum. The present dilemma is that those who can navigate temporal dimensions are rightly reluctant to reveal themselves due to the impact of public and government scrutiny. Nations around the world have spent literally billions of dollars trying to build, in top secret, their own version of a time machine. Thankfully... This is not a case where infinite revenue equals control of the infinite, or you might not be reading this website at all. This is where the chrononauts enter the picture. It's clear, based on the vast scientific information, that time travel is only applicable on a person-by-person -person basis, not driven nor dominated by any one particular physics or thermodynamic calibration. For this reason, we have created a forum where past, present, and future time travelers can share tips, ideas, and experiences to guide those navigating the rocky seas of time. Hence our moniker, the Chrononauts. Brave, solitary adventurers on an infinite voyage. Register within the forum and step into a river of time without fear of being swept away. This wormhole thing makes total sense, but doesn't explain how I can do what no scientist ever has. Welcome to the wonderful world of the wormhole, a term lazily overexploited in science and science fiction. For neophytes, visualize a wormhole like an invisible tunnel from one end of space to another. Thus, if wormholes exist, time travel is possible and probable. The human trick is to discover the means or device needed to link and traverse both ends of this time tunnel. Einstein's theory of relativity posits that this is within the realm of theory, while a new generation of physicists hopes to develop an actual working model of this fascinating space-time conundrum. Inside Wormhole are links and articles relating to the most recent developments of this fluid theory. I would say this is some crazy shit, but now I'm not so certain. Should I sign? Why are quantum physics trying to control... Oh, I'm sorry. Why are quantum physicists trying to control time? 
As you read these words, physicists and scientists around the world are using taxpayer-funded government programs to shatter our notions of time and space, potentially altering the course of history itself. For example, Australian researchers are using photons to simulate quantum particles as they travel through time itself. Even though quantum time mechanics is a very recent theory, first predicted in 1991, it has caught fire within the scientific community, who eliminated ethics and morality from their dangerous experiments. Thanks, Victoria. I always wanted to be a Max meme when I grew up. Just <laughs> spread that shit everywhere. Who cares, honey? And I thought I was into Halloween. Dana is not messing around here. Guys, I'm just realizing there's a read button. I could have made the font bigger. We're committed at this point. We're sticking to it. <laughs> Bring it, Blackwell bloodsuckers. Next to prom night and the big foot and big football, my favorite time of year is the annual Ghoul Days Black Halloween Black Halloween Party. <laughs> Picture me busting a thrill zombie move. Principal Wells has given us almost carte blanche to decorate the halls and gym within taste and safety. So I want every student to be scared shitless when they walk to their classes. I know y'all have tons of homework as I do, but let's make this Halloween that Blackwell will never forget. The decoration committee meets in the gym at 3.30 next Wednesday, October 10th. This gives you plenty of time to not have any excuses for flaking. And if you don't show up to help haunt the halls, the boogie man will get you. Let's show Blackwell our ghoul power. Pleasant dreams. Oh, pleasant screams. Dana of the dead. Cartier, Bresson, Doineau, Hamilton, the greatest. It will be fun to get some peeps together and play a real game instead of drama games. Oh, we've really added to our wall, haven't we? The Max Caulfield Photo Memorial Wall. Okay, let's get our shower supplies. Good morning, clothes. I hope you slept well. Now, <laughs> oops, okay, shit. Max, let's hit the showers now. Sorry. Gordon, seriously, do not forget I need those papers before tonight. Like now. Thanks, Sherry. Yeah, of course, Victoria. I'll get the tests and papers to you this afternoon. I am so on it. Consider it done. Alyssa, can you stand over there? Um, okay, Max, if that makes you happy. Wow, now that was close. Thank you, Max. Were they intending to hit her, or were they just throwing something to throw something and she was in the way? I feel like that's probably intentional. Who's in there, bitch? Nice atmospheric shot. Needs dusting. Chloe is so determined to find you, Rachel. We shouldn't be watching this. Everybody's seen it by now. Whatever they're watching must be hot stuff. There's Brooke, looking smarter than everybody. Okay, but what are they watching? Can I tell? I'd love to make a photo collage of every person who've posted these. Man, people here are merciless. Is it a freaking sex tape? Clearly not a morning person. Welcome to Black Hill. Should we go check on Kate? Blackwell isn't that? that big, but it sure feels like a labyrinth. Samuel truly is a weirdo, but he is great at cleaning up.
Okay. On September 16th, my backpack with all my school books and my new tablet was taken from the cafeteria after I left it on the table. There are individual images of my late cats, rip, so I'd appreciate the quick return of my possessions and feline memories. You have my address. To the bitch that stole my Franju new face creme. That was expensive shit and I need it for my acne. I know exactly how it exfoliates and I'll be watching your skin the second it clears up. Oh. Hello, Juliet. Hey, Max. Did you check out Kate's hot video yet? <sighs> Why should I? Because it's fucking hilarious. Church girl gone wild. Kate's not like that and you know it. Really? Check her out and tell me what she's like. Do you believe everything you see? Like Zachary sexting Dana? Oh! Touché. Now I feel like an ass. Thanks for finding out the truth yesterday. <sighs> what did you do about Victoria pulling that crap? Nothing yet. My mind works in devious ways too. Glad to see you're back in action. You have a good heart, Max. And I won't watch Kate's video anymore. Or pass it on. That's the spirit. Thanks, Juliet. Sure. Talk to you later. Hey, Brooke. Oh, hi, Max. You look distracted. Everything cool? I was riveted by that weird snow flurry yesterday. I can't tell if you're being serious or not. Um, since I'm a science noob, I was wondering if you could explain it. I'm serious. Even meteorologists can't explain that snow. I bet Warren can. Did you talk to him yet? I will later. Lucky you. I'm sure he'll track you down, Max. <laughs> I'll see you around. Max and Warren sitting in a tree. Okay, I kind of want to go see if I can talk to Kate. Kate is an early bird. She might be up and gone. What a bunch of dickheads. Freaking hate people. Okay, how do I take a shower? There's a party going on in that one. Be alert on campus. Observe the following tips for your safety. Always be aware of your location. Always let a friend know where you are or where you're going. Always report any incident immediately to the campus authorities. To download a free campus alert app, go to blah, 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 blah. Could be fun. <laughs> Glad I'm not the only lonely nerd around here. Geek Girls Book Club. Looking for like-minded souls to read and discuss authors? Ursula K. Le Guin? Legwin? How do you say that? Robin Hobb, Neil Gaiman, Pierce Anthony, Terry Brooks, David Calvo, Marion Zimmer Bradley, and the usual flying dragon shit. No boy wizards or Sam vampire fiction allowed. No boys, period. Contact Brooke S. Blah, blah, blah. For sale, this bike will lead you anywhere. $20 delivery for $5 more. Okay. Do the showers! There she is. Hey, Kate. How are you doing? I'm here. Thanks again for standing up for me yesterday. I needed that. Anytime. That guy has issues. Doesn't everybody here? By the way, Max, do you still have my copy of the October Country? Oh, yes, of course. It's great so far. I didn't realize Bradbury was such a poet. Can you please bring it back to my room this morning? I just need to take some notes for class. Absolutely, I'll bring it by later. I do not miss campus showers. <laughs> not at all.
What's up, Kate? Ugh, fuck. School. That's it? That video of you clubbing didn't look like homework. Victoria, that wasn't me. Oh my god, right. Don't be shy. I think it's awesome you set a tongue record on video. <laughs> you're going to be sorry someday. Oh, boo-hoo. I'm sorry you're a viral slut. I'm sure she had fun. Looks like it. I know Nathan hooked her up. And you know he has the good shit. Preach it, sister. Yuck. Oh, so I she was drugged. I saw goddamn paint all over my face. Max Selfie thought she was a badass <sighs> taking that picture. I should have beat her down. That was so uncool. She's jealous because Mark, Mr. Jefferson, knows I'm going to win the Everyday Heroes contest. He thinks Max is a joke. Please don't tell me She's a weirdo her. with that dumb camera. I hate that I'm so quirky crap. Anyway, let's leave the link to Kate's video so everybody gets a chance to see her in action. You are such an evil biatch. I love it. <laughs> Damn, we got dry fast. <laughs> Did we just put our clothes on wet? I'm wiping that shit off. I better get dressed than go give back Kate's book. Even if I can stop one person from watching it, it's worth it. Definitely. Well, to another universe. What the fuck? The last time I got a flu shot, I got the flu. Fuck you. That's not true. It's not accurate. Do your research, folks. I'm good to flow. Thanks. <laughs> Otter power? I'm so not there. Can you swim to success? Nope. Nope, I cannot. I can swim so I don't drown, and that's about it. Okay, we don't need to use any of that. Out of order. Okay. Leave. Wait, what does that say about Rachel? Rachel is a whore. Oh, it's great. Great school environment, guys. <sighs> okay, um, back to my room. <sighs> oh, no fucking way. This is not why I came to Blackwell. And I still have to clean all this crap up? After no, we I don't. find Kate's book. Can we rewind and get back here faster and catch them? My desk is a pigsty, but I know it ain't there. Oh, the bookshelf probably, right? Nope. Uh, I'm stuck. Oh shit. Nathan's revenge. Even Chloe told me not to go to the principal. Man, this could almost be art if it wasn't so fucking sick and disturbed. Can that qualify as like a death threat? Victoria, of course. That's what I get for making fun of her. Hey, we didn't even post it. Relax, chick. Maybe I'll just put on a shirt and jeans. Hey, Einstein had the same exact suit for every day of the week. And he couldn't even rewind time. <laughs> okay, where's her book? No book here. <sighs> of course she just spilled soda on Kate's book. Better rewind. Kate needs the book, and I don't want to add to her list of problems. Okay. Move. 
move. Be gone, foul soft drink. <laughs> and take. Aha, you sneaky book. You're mine. Now I can finally take this back to Kate before I'm late. As if I have to worry about being late anymore. I do have all the time in the world now. Do we have room keys so we can lock our door? Keep your smart mouth shut about everything or I'm coming for your ass. I know where you sleep. Nice. Oh shit. Now I'm getting anonymous threats? It never ends. This has to be from Nathan. But it could be anybody. I better be doubly careful around here or I could be in serious danger. If Can I'm I erase this already. shit? What a hypocrite. Kate? You in there? Yes, I'm here. Come in, Max. <sighs> Kate is all alone dealing with this video bullshit. I hope her mother doesn't disown her. Kate, your father and I just received a rather disturbing call from Principal Wells about you and some party video. Our concerns about sending you to Blackwell seem justified. Please call us after your classes this evening so we can fully discuss this matter. We hope you haven't brought shame on you or our family. We'll pray for you and expect you to pray for forgiveness, your mother. Ugh. Fuck off, Mom. For real? How about, she are you okay? She the violin every morning. She stopped last week. Kate's room is usually immaculate. For her, this must be a pigsty. Maybe Kate has a split personality. Church girl by day, party monster by night. Kate even makes notes in her Bible. My parents never once took me to church. I had nothing to rebel against. I don't know what to believe now. Matthew eleven twenty eight, Come to me, all you who are weary and burdened, and I will give you rest. Proverbs twenty one fifteen. When justice is done, it brings joy to the righteous, but terror to the evildoers. Why is it crossed out? Damn, it's the all-American zombie family. It's way too emo in here. Kate isn't that gloomy. Until lately. Almost forgot what Kate looks like when she smiles. Um, uh, hey Kate, I brought your book. Max, why did you step in between David and me yesterday? I hate bullies. David Madsen should know better. I was hoping he would. But it's nice to see that you care about me. Kate, I actually do care. So what's the story with you and David? Well, he's a total paranoid ass. He thinks I'm part of the Vortex Club. Yeah, right. Why does he think that? Because he saw the video. You know how humiliating this is for me? I know this sucks, Kate, but tell me about the video and maybe I can help. Basically, I went to one Vortex Club party and ended up making out with a bunch of people. And I have no memory of it. It doesn't sound like you. I can't see you partying with Victoria. I didn't. You have to tell me more than that. What happened at the party? Did you drink? I swear to God, I had one sip of red wine, and then I drank water. Not enough to get wasted, is it? I don't get wasted. Ever. I take a sip at church, and I don't end up on a viral video, okay? Did somebody drug you? I remember... I remember getting sick and dizzy. <sighs> Go on. Then Nathan Prescott said he would take me to the hospital.
Did you go? Definitely not. I'm not sure where I went. What do you remember about that? All I recall is driving for a long time. And I woke up in a room. I thought it was a hospital because it was so white and bright. Go on. I'm listening. Somebody was talking to me in a soft voice. I thought it was a doctor until I heard Nathan and felt a sharp sting in my neck. And... And... Are you sure? Of course. You think I'm making this crap Fuck, up. that's not... That's not what I thought. Why? No, I'm it was just... gonna be... Being deductive, as usual. Then what happened? That's all I remember. I don't know what happened. I woke up outside my dorm room the next day. I didn't have any marks or bruises, but I felt gross. So, who took the video of you at the party? I have no idea. Probably Victoria. She was there being her mean self. Jesus, Kate. I'm sorry. This is serious shit. How do I get a viral video taken down? I know it's already spreading. What if my church sees that? I need to know what to do. Kate, we'll figure it out. I'll check back later, okay? How long does that sort of thing stay in your system? Could she go yeah, get tested right. now? You can put my book here near my bag. Guys, it's no freaking joke. I am friends with a girl who got roofied, and I wasn't there to see it, but luckily her boyfriend was, and from the stories, it was really Good freaking bad. Lord. This must be Kate's HR Geiger period. Ouch. She left out amnation. Dear Katie, no spirit or devil could have prepared me for what you have done in that videotape. And like a Jezebel, you released your harlot image before God's eye. I will pray with my church for your soul to be saved from eternal hell. <sighs> So freaking angry. I had no idea that Kate ever hung out with Alyssa and Stella. Kate really has a doting father. The light shines in darkness, and the darkness comprehended it not. Katie, you'll always be my brightest light against the dark. Oh. See, Daddy still got your back. That's a lot of tears. She's going to go through boxes. Kate's art is perfect for a children's book. Everything looks so fun and colorful and positive. Why did she cover up the mirror? She can't look at herself? So Max, can I ask you a question? And please be honest. Absolutely, Kate. Anything. I need to find out if Nathan Prescott helped me or hurt me after that party. Should I go to the police? <sighs> Fuck. If you do that, they won't believe you. You're on video grabbing at all those guys and they'll use that against you. Bad. But I know I was drugged. That's what you have to prove, not them. I'm just telling you how the cops in school will look at this. The video doesn't exactly back you up. You make me feel so hopeless. No, no, Kate. I just don't want you to get hurt anymore. That seems impossible at this point. So that's your answer? I, I think we should wait. There are other things going on that might help you. But not right now. So I can walk down the halls with people calling me a viral slut. Thanks, Max. I want her to go to the cops right now, but Nathan being who he is Good in the community... Job, Dr. Max. She didn't like what I had to say, but we need more proof of what happened. They're... Like, even if they believe her, nothing's gonna happen of it unless she has proof to back it up, because, unfortunately, we've learned that from telling the principal about him. So 
somebody is hungry. Uh oh, it's been 40 minutes already. Okay, let's get out of this. Definitely should have gone in that that room. Fuck. <laughs> hey Samuel, you're up early. Oh, hello, young Max. I do love the early morning. Everything is so calm and quiet, and I can feel the animals waking up with me. That's one thing I truly love about Arcadia Bay. It's all those cool animals in the forest. And the squirrels always come in the morning for food. I can hear them whisper. What animals do you see in the forest? Don't laugh, but I saw a doe that seemed to be looking right at me, like it was trying to communicate. Oh, that's your spirit animal. Nothing weird there except you saw yours. Could be a sign about your destiny. <laughs> what do I know? My spirit animal is a squirrel. So, what did you think about that freak snow shower yesterday? Another message from the Earth to get our shit together. I will say that Samuel hasn't seen anything like that before. I so don't want to get in the way of your morning ritual. See you later. Of course you will. Hmm, that was creepy. Of course you will. I'll be stalking you. Is that Warren? This is Nathan's father. This is a message to let you know that attempts to slander and blackmail my son will be met with many lawyers and legal ramifications. You're not the first student at Blackwell to try this. I hope you're the last. Consider this a final polite warning. Wow. Max, get over here. Warren, what are you doing here? Well, nothing. Waiting for a call? I mean, I already took the call. Anyway, I wanted to rap about that action yesterday. That was intense. Everything happened so fast. I owe you. Oh, yes, you do. I got knocked on my ass by that dick. I'm some personal superhero. I'm surprised his black eyes aren't worse. Hero. You stood up to a bully, and it was awesome. Even though you left me with said bully and ran off with that girl, she's pretty punk rock. How do you know her? <sighs> An old friend, Chloe Price. We haven't seen each other in a while. I bet you were glad to see her blast up in that truck like a rock star. <laughs> Which begs the question, why is Nathan Prescott getting psycho on you? I busted him in the bathroom yesterday with a gun. I'll give you the story later. Principal Wells is taking care of it now, I hope. Weird fucking week. Like that bizarro snowfall yesterday? Speaking of dystopia, that drive-in is having a 70s Planet of the Apes marathon. Let's go ape! Yes, that's exactly what I need. I love those old school ape films. I just well, want them to go on a date, you guys. That's all. Cool, I'll text you the info. Is that too much to ask for? Ooh, I cannot get comfortable today, guys. It's like a trillion degrees in my room also. <laughs> Doesn't help that I have a sweatshirt on. David talking to Nathan cannot be a good thing. This has something to do with Kate. Or Rachel. And the scarf was a bus driver, and I was like, dang, that's really well dressed bus driver. 
Looks like he's going to fashion week. Jose Gonzalez. Is that his name? Shit. I'm blanking on his name now. Dream of it. I will be a millionaire. Hope nobody steals my lottery. Talk about going back in time. The diner looks exactly the same. Save our city. Look at all these flyers. It's so sad that nobody will read them. Restore the lifeblood of Arcadia Bay, save our bay. End the man-made drought in the bay. Good morning. Looks like you're ready to catch some serious fish. I wish, young gal. Arcadia Bay just isn't the same fishing town I grew up in. Has the town changed much? By Neptune's beard, it has. <laughs> Seems like a lifetime ago when I was king of the harbor. You have your own boat? I call her the Bali High. I've kept a hold of her in these lean days. Might be all the time we've got left. I thought one of Arcadia Bay's main exports was fish. Oh, the fish used to jump onto my boat until the Prescotts and their finance fiends snapped up harbor rights. It always comes back to the, the Prescotts, Prescotts, doesn't have it? A lot of power. They might rename the town Prescott Bay, if that tells you much. Do you know them? Do good for my working kind. I know them through their bad deeds. Let's not get downcast. I hear the fish calling for Bali High. Never forget that old fishermen never die. We just smell that way. <laughs> I'd love to learn more, but I have to get going. Happy fishing out there. Running late. Grab a booth at the diner. Mom will feed you. Somebody better. I'll be lucky if you make it by noon. Yes, we're open. Bacon and eggs. Oh, that sounds so good. So good. Man, that smell of breakfast and the sound of clanging silverware mm, makes me feel 13 again. Good Lord. Talk about apocalyptic. Affordable luxury homes, forest, ocean, and lighthouse views. Coming soon to change the way you live. I can talk to all these people? Ooh, maybe I talk to the cop and see what evidence I would need. Hello, sir. Hi, young lady. You look a little lost. 
just hungry and thinking about what to eat. Now that is a real problem at the uh, Two Wells. I can never decide. Joyce's pumpkin pie or grilled mac and cheese? You guys, a mac and cheese sandwich, literally so delicious. Get yourself some mac and cheese, get yourself some French bread, put those suckers, sandwich, so good, so good. Um, I guess you're friends with David Madsen. I wouldn't use that word. We know each other. Why do you ask? He kind of has a reputation at Blackwell. I have respect for David. He served his country. He found his calling at Blackwell. At the station, we're happy David is exactly where he is. <laughs> not everybody can be <laughs> That's him saying, I don't like him, I don't trust him, but I'm not gonna badmouth him. Yep. How well do you know Joyce? I know her delicious grub. Everybody at the station comes here. We take care of this place like it's our own kitchen. And Joyce, like she's our, our mother. <laughs> so, you know Chloe? Sadly, we all know Chloe down at the station. <sighs> Poor Joyce. Uh -oh. Just heard she even just got busted with pot in her room. Uh, who told you that? I didn't hear it on the police scanner. Joyce said the weed belonged to Chloe's friend, but I highly doubt that. Joyce didn't tell you who? She wouldn't. Afraid I'd go arrest somebody, as if I would. I'd just tell that loser to stay the hell away from Chloe, or else. I'm <laughs> just kidding. Whew. Besides, David Madsen's watching over. Is she a friend of yours? I know her. Then you know she's a handful. No, I think she's just had some bad luck. You have to create your own good luck. I think Chloe would rather destroy. But I'm just a cop, not a psychologist, so... I have to go now. Enjoy your breakfast. It's going so By well. Way, one thing I can tell you for certain is to stay away from that RV outside. I usually stay away from sketchy parked vehicles. Wise policy. The guy who lives in it, Frank, is pretty sketchy himself. That's all I can say for now. I should finish up my coffee and get to work. Does that mean I should go outside and talk to Frank? I'm gonna try. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it. Where is it? Man. Hello, man. Homeless. Hello, oh, homeless. Oh, look at you. A fine example of youth. I bet you're a senior student. Yes, I go to Blackwell Academy. I could tell you're a wise young woman. I know all about Blackwell and this town. Tell me about the Prescotts. I bet you have dirt on the Prescott family. That whole family is dirty. They once done good things for Arcadia Bay. Those days are dead, like anything in their way. I know somebody who's being threatened by a press car. Then you be their guardian angel, because nothing gets in the way of that family, especially not the law. Hell, they own your school, Blackwell, almost. Whew. How long have you lived in Arcadia Bay? A thousand years. I've gone through the same changes as the town. What changes to the town? Ones it takes a lifetime to see. There's a lot of beauty here, but a lot of darkness, too. Greedy bastards that ruin this town put people out of work. Out of home. Like me. I'm sorry. Have you ever lived outside of here? Where the hell would I go? I hate the sun <laughs> and love the mist. I might be homeless, but Arcadia Bay is still my home. You must know Joyce Price from the Two Whales Diner. She's fed me more than my own family. How's a daughter your age who's always in trouble? <laughs> Chloe has Married a reputation. A real prick. His name is David Madsen. 
He told me to get a job once, asshole. Not sure what <laughs> Joyce sees in him, but he better treat her right. I doubt I that. Oh no. Goodbye. I doubt that. I kind of want to take your picture for my my thing. Can I? Oh, found the sketchy RV. We have to investigate it. Watch out, man! They're coming for you. It doesn't even... What is going on? Like, what? Clearly, he does not drive it. There's that dirty RV from the other day. Is it following me? Uh, stop that. Stop. No barking. I just want to pet There's you. There's something creepy about that guy and his dog. Okay. So, if this is something that keeps popping up, clearly there's something important with it. But what? Hmm. Okay, I guess I should go get a booth, huh? That mustache! <laughs> Let's go back in. Dude. Trucker. Trucker. And there she is. A lovely young woman. How are you doing, Max? Hi, Joyce. It's nice to see you again. You look the same. <laughs> like I'm still a waitress at Two Whales after all these years. No, like you still look pretty. <laughs> nice save, kid. You're still <laughs> smart. But I wish you'd been here to help save Chloe. She got busted yesterday smoking out. Again. I know. Chloe told me that her stepfather hit her. I am sorry that was your introduction to David. I hope you get to know him on your terms, not Chloe's. He's a good man, he just... Yeah, I'm sure he is since you married him, but... Don't be so harsh on Chloe. It's good you're here. I was hoping you could be a good influence in her life now. I will be. Promise. Now I give me some bacon and eggs! For you and Chloe. I feel bad I didn't call. Now my folks are in Seattle and I'm all alone at Blackwell. It's my karma. You did the right thing. You moved forward with your life. I did after William passed on. Chloe? Chloe <sighs> chose to stay angry. Anyway, I hope we see more of you. Chloe needs an old friend again. I mean, did Joyce, you like... I am so sorry about William. I have great memories of him. I'm glad, Max. That was his gift to us. Wonderful memories. Even if Chloe doesn't understand yet. Chloe understands. She just needs time. I know that sucks for you. Oh, she hit all the phases. Expulsion, running away, drugs, bad boys, tattoos, piercings, blue hair. <laughs> now she's got to rebel against her stepfather. Because her stepfather's I see a prick. Why? I mean, why? What did Chloe tell you? Chloe doesn't have to tell me anything. I just know how David is at Blackwell. You know what happened. David slapped Chloe. He fucked up. But Chloe does push David, and it's not fair. He paid his dues in a war. He does care about her, along with all the students at Blackwell. Hmm. He cares about Kate Marsh? David mentioned her, but I stay out of his business. I won't patrol Blackwell, and he won't cook at the diner, you know? I saw him arguing with Kate. I thought you might know why. <sighs> nice try, Nancy Drew. But next to you, there's only one student I'm worried about. And she's not even in school anymore. So, 
Now let's get down to the nitty gritty. What do you want to eat? Ooh. Well, let's go waffles. The last good Belgian waffle I had was here when I was 13 years Bacon old. Bacon omelet sounds really good, though. So, bring it on. Now finish your coffee. I don't know if she actually believes all the crap she's saying, or if she's just in an immensely abusive relationship, so she acts like she does. Nerd graffiti. Foreign must... I love the delicious anticipation of breakfast. Okay, I didn't do that. That was all the game. The only thing that's changed on the menu are the prices. <laughs> Bigfoot bacon. This is like fourth dimensional deja vu. I keep going back in time. This is a diner, not a bar. No beer? <laughs> Looks like you had plenty. Stick with the bacon. Chucker, you should not be drinking. You're about to drive. The lighthouse looks so mysterious. I wish I could stay in this moment forever. I guess I actually can now. But then it wouldn't be a moment. Incoming. Oh, is that my waffles? I can hear your stomach rumbling from here, Max. We must be related. Yeah, you'll love this. I'm drooling like a baby. Oh my god. Still so can't so believe good. you're a woman. <laughs> so and good. I look at pictures of Chloe. Oh. Mm, speak of the devil. Mom and Max together again. And Chloe looking for a free meal. You put your whole damn college fund on your tab. I'm treating Chloe for breakfast. No, you're not. This is my treat to you for coming back to rescue my daughter. Nobody needs to rescue me. Unless you set your room on fire smoking out. <sighs> oh, God, here it comes. Didn't you and Sergeant Pepper already read me the riot act last night? Call him David if you don't want to be lectured. You only get one damn slice of bacon a day. You guys are still the same. Another reason to blow this town. Holy shit, we were hungry. We wolfed that down. What is this shit on the jukebox? Now that that's out of the way. Let's talk about your superpower. I don't have any explanation, and I can't explain why I saw that crazy fucking tornado. Come on, that's just a daydream. I want proof you can rewind time. This is all happening so How do we fast. get proof, we'll proof though? Because if we tell her... Right now. Mm, I can tell you every single thing you have in your pockets. You oh, have okay, there you go. Dude? I don't even know what's in my pockets. Let me see. Okay, Max. Impress me. Um, okay. Some old chewing gum? Nada. Not impressed. Okay, psychic girl. Let me show you what's actually in my pockets. That was beyond epic fail. You even made me want to believe you. Rewind time. So, this is me telling you what's inside your pockets. Okay, Max. I'm hella ready. Okay. Shouldn't have any of those things, though. Your car keys. Duh, way too easy. I need details. Describe my keychain. That was the bear, right? Was it a skull? That was a bear. Uh, skull keychain for a punk like you. That was so wrong, Max. Okay, psychic girl. Let me show you what's actually in my pockets. 
What was that teddy bear keychain? What is that? That was beyond epic fail. You even made me want. Okay, Max. Study every item carefully and don't forget anything. Warning ticket. It is a bear. Why couldn't I say bear? Did I rewind too fast? I bet I just tried to rewind too quickly. What is happening? <laughs> Skip. Okay, Max. I'm hella ready. <laughs> okay, just got a key. Your car keys. Duh. Way too. A panda. A cute robot panda keychain. Not bad, Super Max. You do have that Irish luck call build. What else? Cigarettes. I'm pretty sure you have cigarettes on you. Yes, you know I'm a smoker. But how many cigarettes? Oh. Seven. Seven cigarettes. A superpower that allows you to count cigarettes. Cool. Amazing. Lucky guess. Something else in my pockets? Um, I didn't count the money, so that's gonna be bad. It's a parking ticket. You know me well. But what is the exact time I was busted? Nine something. <laughs> Not even an option. Um. 11, 10 a.m. That is so shit. wrong. Shit, okay, shit, psychic shit. Girl. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, Max. Study every item carefully and don't forget anything. Panda keychain, check. Seven cigarettes. Four, five, yep, okay, still seven. Check. Let's see. 75, 80, 4, 86 cents. 10, 34. Franklin Street. 10, 34, Franklin Street. 86 cents. 86 cents, 1034 Franklin Street. Got it. I'm trying to go faster, but it's like not going faster. 86 cents, 1034 Franklin Street, okay, seven cigarettes. I'm hella. Keys. Your car keys. Skip. Duh, way too easy. Panda. A cute robot. Skip. Not bad, super. You do have that Irish luck. Um, cigarettes? I'm pretty sure you have. Yes, you know I'm a smoker. Seven. Seven cigarettes. A superpower that allows you to. Okay. Amazing. Something else in my pockets? Parking ticket. A parking ticket. You know me well. 10 34. 10 34 a.m. Booyah, Max can tell time. Even a well. broken clock is right twice a day. Whatever the hell that means. Hmm. 86 so cents. Clearly I'm rich as fuck. How much do I have? 86. 86 cents. That's right, living large in Arcadia Bay. Yeah, I'm that's right. Smalls. Be impressed. I literally just got chills all over my neck. You have powers. I'll take that crap off the table, Chloe. Sure, Mom. How's the food, Max? Better than I remembered. Her mom gets mad at her Very over the dumbest shit. Man, I'm hungry like the wolf. Clearly. I am freaking out about what just happened. You, you have to show me more. Something way cooler so I will believe you without any doubt. What? I will predict the future. No way. Now, pay attention to everything that happens in the next few moments so you can dazzle Chloe with your mad power. Oh, God. Okay. Oops. Did Mom. you break another cup? Really? No refill for you. Okay, Chucker breaks the coffee cup. Now I gotta take this call and leave my breakfast. Hey, where is my partner? You're a dick. Don't slap me, bitch. Fight. Take your fight club outside. 
He Police sirens. It. I'm finishing it. Partner missing. Chick goes to the bathroom. Let's get this song out this of is again. sure the hell better than that other garbage. I think our jukebox is headed for Davy Jones's locker. Jukebox so what are you breaks? waiting for? Now I should rewind and tell Chloe everything that just happened. Okay. Oh god. This is too much my memory. I'm going to go. predict four events that will happen in the next 30 seconds or so. Okay. Trevor drops his glass. Chucker drops his mug. The trucker drops trucker. his mug and Joyce rips him a new one. So what happens next? Then... The cop gets an emergency alert on his radio and his partner in the car leaves without him. Well, let's just see how this goes down. Um, Justin and Trevor fight and Joyce stops them. Justin and Trevor are fighting and Joyce breaks it up. This is getting good. Can't wait to see what happens. And Jukebox goes crazy. Oh shit, I didn't see what happened to cause it to go crazy. Ah, uh, I don't. The I didn't see anybody goes there. Crazy as a fly lands on it. Pretty bizarro, Max. But let's see if everything happens like you said. <laughs> I didn't see the trucker, so I don't think it can be that. Did you right. break another cup? Really? No refill for you. Shh. Now I gotta take this call and leave my breakfast. Hey, where is my partner? You're a oh, dick. You're so Fight cool. Me, bitch. Take your fight club outside. He started it. I'm finishing it. That is wild. Oh, damn it, it's a cockroach. This is a That's sad day in Maxville. Okay, rewind. Three out of four ain't bad. Seventy-five percent is passing. Okay, I'm here we go. I'm going to predict. Trucker drops his mug. The truck. So what happened? Then his partner leaves. The cop get. Well. Then Joy stops the fight. Just this is getting good. Then. A cockroach crawls on jukebox. The jukebox goes crazy as a cockroach Juke. crawls on it. Jukebox. I always call it a jukebox. Well, let's see if everything happens like you said. Different angle. We must be right. Oops. Did you break another cup? Oh, what really? Go, Mom? No refill for you. Shh. Well, now I gotta take this call and leave my breakfast. Leave hey, my breakfast. Where is my partner? Don't want to leave your bacon. But he's off to go bust some skaters. You're a dick. Don't slap me, bitch. Take your fight club outside. He started it. I'm finishing it. Trevor <laughs> and Justin must be in love. You predicted a cockroach on the jukebox? I pledge allegiance to Max and the power for which she stands. This isn't a toy, Chloe. I do have to be careful how I use it. Screw that. Of course it's a toy. The best toy ever? You can bang anyone with no strings attached, rewind time, and boom! It's like it never happened! Grow up. <laughs> Maybe you made a move on me and I would never know. Yes, that's what I did. You can rewind time, Max. That's fucking insane. We have to play. I don't have time. You did not just say that. Uh, check out your nose. Too much blow? <sighs> Too much time travel. Hey, are you okay? Too much excitement. See what happens when we hook up again? Then let's go to one of my secret lairs and fully test your power. You need a sidekick to guide you. Okay, girl wonder. Show me the way to Chloe's cave. Chloe finally believes me. 
And I wonder what kind of crazy shit she has in mind now. All right, guys, I'm going to stop there. Um, it's nice to have someone who knows our secret now so that we can um, divulge to them. What's the word I'm looking for? We can just get a little bit off our chest and not have to worry about carrying so much on our own. Hopefully, Chloe is able to help us come up with creative ideas to use our powers to help Kate and catch Nathan or the Prescott family as a whole. I don't know. Um, but <laughs> it's funny because I don't really care about the, the town right now. I care about Kate and figuring out what's happening with Detective Douchebag. Um, and I know it's all going to tie in together, but I just, I really feel horrible for Kate and I want to get that solved for her. Um, so hopefully Chloe can help us use our power to find a way to do that, maybe find evidence or rewind far enough back that we can stop her from being drugged maybe if we like keep practicing and kind of grow that superpower muscle. Um, but either way, it's exciting that somebody finally knows. I really do feel bad for Chloe though because her mom just doesn't get it. And I'm sure Chloe has been a nightmare to live with. I, <laughs> I can understand that completely. But it doesn't really seem like Chloe ever got the help that she needed. Um, and the mom just kind of moved on and Chloe was never able to do that. And instead of helping Chloe move on as well, she kind of just let Chloe spiral a bit. And it's only going to get worse the less she trusts and believes in Chloe. Um, and that kind of breaks my heart for her. So she, I knew she had a hard life, but now seeing the relationship with the mom, it makes me realize how much worse it actually is. Um, so hopefully we can kind of help with that relationship as well. Either way, I'm loving the game. I'm sure I still miss a ton of stuff. I know I didn't talk to everybody in the bar, but I feel like if they don't necessarily have a name, they're not quite as important. However, I did talk to a woman named Homeless <laughs> and she gave us some pretty good information. So I guess I should probably talk to everybody. Um, but let me know if let me know if I should. Um, like those no-name characters sitting at the bar, like the no-name trucker. Should I have talked to them too? Um, since this is my first time, my first foray into the series, I don't really know what's important to focus on and what's not. Um, so let me know if I should even talk to the no-name people, like the man standing on the street and the guy who won the lottery ticket and that sort of thing. Um, and if so, I will make sure to do that in the future. Uh, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please make sure you subscribe to the channel. Hit that bell button when you do, so you know when I post the next video. And as always, thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it and hope you have an amazing day.